Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the note and you'll be on your way. Before you can start playing, you need to decide whether to play as a junior or senior detective. If you choose junior detective, you'll get more hints than you will if you're a senior detective, and the puzzles will be a little easier. When you're ready to start playing, just click on the note and hang on to your hat. As always, your mission is to... This anagram from the Clues Challenge says I should go check out the thermostat at the Old Town Hall. there come on open up is that an ice cube what's happening oh no I've got to get out of here <coughs> here. I need to get out of here fast. <coughs> Nancy Drew, what made you decide to burn down the old town hall? I didn't. Did you work alone? Who helped you? What do you mean work alone? I didn't do anything. Was this politically motivated? Of course not. I would never- Back off. No press until we take statements. Please state your name for the record. Nancy Drew. Where were you when the fire broke out? 
I was locked in the room where the fire started. What were you doing there? Someone sent me a note telling me to come here. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? The fire spread through the whole building in a matter of seconds. What was the color of the smoke? I I'm not sure. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? It sounded like there was someone else in the building. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Deirdre Shannon, Alexei Markovic, Tony Scolari, and Brenda Carlton. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? It must have been one of the people at the scene of the fire. There you have it. A former hero and city icon, rendered speechless. And speechless is the word of the day as onlookers struggle to come to terms with the brazen destruction of the beloved town hall by none other than the girl detective they had once trusted their lives and livelihoods to. Truly a sad day for River Heights. With Heights 9 News, I'm Brenda Carlton. Back to you, Jim. I still can't believe that happened. You could have been really hurt. I know. It's lucky that no one else was there. Did you even see what started the fire? Yeah, it was really strange. There was this snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Hang on. There's someone at the door. Chief McGinnis? There's... My hands are tied here, Nancy. What are you talking about? Nancy Drew, you're under arrest for arson in connection with the town hall fire. I had nothing to do with that. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney. Drew, you're free to make a call. You've reached the personal line of Carson Drew. Please direct all business matters to the firm switchboard. Hi, it's Nancy. I'm in jail. I really could use your help right about now. Please call me as soon as you can. Wait, I don't know if I can even get phone calls in here. I guess I'll keep trying you. When you get this message, don't freak out, okay? You don't need to book the next flight home. At least, not yet. I got a note telling me to go to Town Hall, and when I got there, it just burst into flames. They think I did it. I think this might be one of those situations where I can admit that I might need a little help. I guess I better get going now. I'll try you again soon. I should call my friends. <laughs> Ned, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right, for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. I knew I could count on you. Remember that wiki we were using for the clues challenge? The program on our phones, right? Right. Let's all use that to keep in touch. All case information and big clues should show up there. Good idea. There's something I need right away. Just name it. The reason I went to the town hall was because I was led there by a note. I need you guys to find that note and drop it off at the station for me. I think it might have fallen out of my pocket when I escaped the fire. Consider it done. Can you please take care of Togo until I'm out? Way ahead of you. Since your dad and Hannah are out of town, George is watching your house. How's Togo doing? Pretty upset, but George's mom is taking care of him back at their house. Great. One less thing to worry about. Your turn to take over. Ned, reporting for duty. This must be the note Nancy needs. Yeah, 
I should call Nancy. Were you able to find the note? Yes. Great. If you can put the note in the drop box at the police station, I'll pick it up and take over from there. I'm turning the case over to you. I'll take it from here. Listen, I'm just doing my job here, Nancy. But I don't see any need to keep you locked up. If you want to prove your innocence, I'm not going to stand in your way. This is a police station. Don't let me catch you messing with anything. Get me? Don't let me catch you. One more thing. We've got an evidence board in the station we track cases with. If any compelling evidence were to show up regarding your case, I would consider taking a look. <laughs> This is the case board. Track your case on it. You got enough to pin this on someone else? Push that button and give me a call. It would have been nice if they had focused on any other suspects. Snacks. Oh, Hannah, you always know how to cheer me up. Mm-hmm. There's no card in here. Haven't done that. Did that. Check. I found the police investigation board. Perfect. It looks like we're on the right track so far. They've narrowed everything down to just a few suspects. Who did they suspect? Tony from over at Scoop, Alexi from the antique store, Brenda Carlton, and Deirdre, and, of course, me. Good. We'll keep an eye on all of them. Except you. I've got you crossed off my suspect list. I'm passing the case to you, Ned. Time to help Nancy. Hello? Are you THE Alexi from the old stories around here? That was a long time ago. I can't believe that's actually you! You are the original kid detective. You should advertise that, put it on your sign or something. That's not who I am now. But it's something to be proud of. Just let it go. It's my past, not yours. Did you hear about the fire? Of course. What do you know about the old town hall fire? No more than anyone else. Thanks. Bye. Good day. This could be useful.
Hello? Can I try that old game you have? Game? Oh, yeah, that. I haven't played that in ages. Be warned, I rebuilt that game, I know the tricks, so I'm pretty much unbeatable. I need to find a way to get Alexi to leave. How's it going? Can you tell me about Alexi? What's everyone's deal with him lately? I don't really know much. Apparently, he was accused of some crime when he was younger. No one really trusts him now. What crime? I really don't know. Probably something creepy. I mean, he does work in an antique shop. Bye. Bye. Hi. How's the stakeout? Pretty good. I don't think she's on to me. On a related note, I have no idea what she's doing. Want some ice cream? No, eating ice cream is my cover. But she's been here for like 10 decades. I've already had all of the flavors on the menu. Ugh. If this investigation doesn't stop soon, forget the new sundress I got. I won't be able to fit in my house. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hello, how can I help you? Can you tell me what happened during the fire? It's still an open investigation. I can't give that information out to just anyone. I am a city official, so I have a certain responsibility here. Is there anything at all you can tell me about the fire? Obviously, it's a sad moment in the town's history, but the way this community has responded really shows off what's great about this city and this country. One order of ice cream, please? Sure. Mmm, yum. I'm turning the case over to you. Nancy Drew, taking over. Can't check that off yet. to find the password. Maybe it's somewhere around here.
Bess, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. Goodbye. Bye. Nancy, I just got your message. Are you okay? I'm in jail, so things could be better. Still? Still. They're blaming me for the fire at Town Hall. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they think you'd have anything to do with something like that? Are they treating you okay? Well, so far. I'm dropping everything and I'm coming home. Hang tight. I'll be there as soon as I can. Dad, you don't need to rush home all the way from Australia. I can take care of this myself. I just need a little help. Nancy, I've always thought you were very responsible, but this is not something you should try to take on yourself. I certainly won't turn down help. That's my girl. I've got a lot of favors to call in, so even though I'm far away right now, I'll be able to help. Right now, I'm going to see if I can't get you out of jail. I'm going to make some calls. Keep me updated. Will do. Chief McGinnis let me out of the holding cell. That's great news. But I can't go home until I find more conclusive proof that it wasn't me who set the fire. It's a good start. I'm going to keep working to get you out. And I'm going to keep working on the case. Nancy, I know I don't have to remind you of this, but be careful. You could land in some serious hot water if you impede the investigation in any way. I'll be careful. I promise. I should get going. Bye. Hello. George, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right, for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. See you later. Bye. Haven't done that. Hello? Ned, I'm going to need your help with something. You name it. I need you to help us out with Deirdre. How so? You know how she's always flirting with you? Oh, no, she's not. She's just nice. Right. Nice. But only ever to you. Does that sound strange? No, I'm a very pleasant person. Ned. I know you're right. It's just... it's just a little weird. It's a lot weird, but this is a desperate times situation. What do you need me to do? Pour on that trademark Nickerson charm. See what info you can pry out of her. You're sure this is okay with you? I'm not the jealous type. And also, I'm in jail and would like to get out. Those are solid points. You got it. I need you to take over. Ned, reporting for duty. I can't do this now. I can't do this now. Got it. Ned! How's it going? Hi, Deirdre. I'm fine. You certainly is. Are you joining me? Actually, I just need a little more information from you. Nancy's in trouble. Sigh. Ned Stiffer, that girl doesn't deserve you. But I'll help, because I'm wonderful, right? You could say that. Great, because I did. Could you tell me about what happened at the fire? Please, it's really important. Nedgar, I've been over this with everyone a million different times. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am actually bored of talking about that fire that I saw. Please, for me? Okay, for you. I was out jogging, and I saw the fire. I didn't know you were a jogger. Yeah... I'm into all of that health stuff. So then what happened? I saw a bunch of smoke. Brenda Carlton was there, and the antiques guy. Nancy, too. Did you notice anything strange? That's a negative. Do you really think that Nancy was behind the fire? Don't know. But I do know it's looking pretty rough for her right now. Why were you at Town Hall at the time of the fire? I just was. You must have been there for a reason. 
What was it? Fine. Fine. Just stop giving me that desperate look. I can't handle it. I was following Nancy. What? I thought she was cheating, since you guys were so far ahead. So I followed her and found a note someone left for her. I intercepted it. It had a time and a place, so I went. Nothing happened. Do you still have the note? Yes, here. Did it come in that bag? Yeah. It was raining pretty hard that night. Whoever left it must have wanted to make sure it wouldn't get ruined. Thanks. What do you think about Tony? She's got a lot of pull in this town. Who knows what she could be trying to get away with. Bye. See ya! I can't do that now. I can't do this now. I can't do this now. Hi. Deirdre gave me a note. She said it was just like the one that led you to the fire. Some dusting kits in a locked cabinet in my room. As soon as I find my keys, I'll put them in the drop box for you. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye. Hi. I'm turning the case over to you. Nancy Drew taking over. So, you're calling to say you lost the evidence locker key? Oh, that's some great police work there, rookie. I'd better listen in. Where'd you see it last? Pancake City? I don't recall Pancake City being part of your beat. Go find that key. I should send someone to Pancake City to find that key. Is there a lot of crime in Pancake City? Well, it's good to know you're keeping the mean streets of Pancake City free from crime. No, it doesn't make me less angry to hear you're embarrassed. Go find that key. Flip Pancake City over if you have to, but find that key. You did not just ask me if that was a pun. Do I make puns when I'm angry? No. When I'm angry, I ask rhetorical questions and fire rookie detectives. I need your help finding a key. All right, what's the story? I need to get into the evidence locker. Detective Ryan lost his key. I need one of you guys to find it. Any idea where we should look? Yes, try checking out Pancake City. Sure thing. I'm passing the case to you, Ned. Time to help Nancy. Detective Ryan, I think you said he was going to Mabel Rose's? Detective Ryan, I think he went to the antique shop. Greetings. Have you seen Detective Ryan? The 12-year-old cop? Yeah, he's been here. He, he left something behind. Did he leave it behind to torment me? Possibly not. Is it tormenting me? Yes, yes it is. Can't figure the blasted thing out. It's on the new arrival shelf. What's the story with this alarm key? I have never seen that in my life. I found it right here. I don't know how it got there. I had nothing to do with this fire. Nothing. 
I'm not going through this again with you people. Once is enough. What do you mean? After all I've gone through, you want to hang me out to dry again. Well, it's not going to happen. You got it? Get out of my store. What? Why? I said leave. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There's a key under there. Got it. Hopefully this is the key that Nancy was looking for. Greetings. What do you know about Tony? Well, she's on the city council, so she's either corrupt or deeply immersed in the corrupting process. Not everyone in politics is corrupt. Seriously? Where is your youthful cynicism? <laughs> yes, all politicians are corrupt. Why do you distrust politicians? Because they don't care about people like you and me. When they're running for office, we're just votes to buy. Once they're elected, we're just collateral damage for whatever or whomever's buying them off. Goodbye. Good day. We found a fire alarm key at Alexi's shop. Did he say anything about it? He seemed pretty upset. Really? What did he say? He said that he didn't want to go through something like this again. Interesting. What do you think he meant? I don't know. I'll ask my dad. He seems to know a lot about everyone in town. How's the investigation coming? All right. It looks like I'm going to be able to use some of the equipment around here. If I don't get caught, that is. I don't understand why they won't just let you out. Since all of the evidence is stacked against me, they want a little proof that I didn't do it. Still, it doesn't seem fair. Trust me, I'm with you on that one. What was it like being in the fire? Were you scared? Absolutely. It just spread so quickly. Whoever set that fire knew what they were doing. From everything we've been hearing, you're lucky to be alive. Until we catch the arsonist, the station might actually be the safest place for me. Thanks. Bye. See you later. Hello? You should take over. I'm on the case. I'd better find a way to listen to this. My phone. Looks complicated. I should find something to explain how this works. Better see what evidence the police have. They seized gasoline. I need to find out what was really used to start the fire. Hmm, it looks like the alarm wasn't working at the time of the fire. I need to find out why. Can't check that off yet. Check. That's done.
Got it. I can't do that. 